Hello YouTube, I got some great news, and it's not so good news for R. Kelly, because recently, no, I wouldn't say recently, because I'm doing a video right now, it's gonna be eventually scheduled for another day, but we all know, if you guys heard the hearing, he's gonna be sentenced to 30 years. Finally, some justice, and karma has been waiting to bite R. Kelly in the ass. If Aaliyah was alive to see this, I guarantee you, this would have made a huge difference in life, but I'm sorry because it's unfortunate what happened. I wish she, she got the chance to witness this. If you guys aren't aware, Aaliyah was a 15-year-old that R. Kelly choose to, chose to marry. Um, and then in the meantime, is that while she, uh, she while she was getting older, while she was with R. Kelly, is that uh, he was helping her produce music. She was an artist herself. Um at a young age and then she died very young as an adult if you guys aren't aware um fortunately she died in a plane crash where she was on her way to perform and then she was there to um be able to like practice and rehearse for um her music videos and unfortunately i think one of the um the the the, the pilots was drunk and then they got into a serious accident and then end, end up killing her along with everybody in their plane, including her dance crew. And my condolences go to her as well as her mourning family. And for people out there that feel sorry for R. Kelly, this is not a surprise because there are people out there saying that they should free R. Kelly when honestly they want to turn a blind eye. And the people should be aware he, there was actually him. Uh, there was videos of him actually urinating on a, on a twelve year old, and he had there was video clips of that, even though it may have been deleted, but it's definitely surfacing around the internet. And not only has he harmed children, he's actually harmed women too. And don't and then people I don't think people have mentioned that he's actually harmed young boys too. <sighs> And what I find interesting is they don't bring up the fact that he's harmed young boys. I think it's because uh, usually male victims aren't usually, they don't get as much attention. They feel that they're not the most vulnerable when it comes to females. So that's why they decide not to bring it up. But I can guarantee you this for sure, that he was harming young boys in the process as well. And this was definitely coming. This was definitely going to hit him in the head. He's for sure going to suffer. And he's he's from and if you guys know he's gotten beaten up before in prison, and by a group by three guys, and one I'm sure one of the um, guards let the three inmates in his cell. They were acting like nothing happened. They while the while the, and while the guards were on their own just minding their own business, three inmates actually jumped him, and then I'm guessing he got a scratch by his eye, on his head, and then they just were clobbering up. They were literally clobbering him up, and those are and they are doing it for the children that he's harmed, and that more beatings were to come his way. Honestly, he deserves more than just a beating. He deserves a pitchfork. And I also want to bring up another prime example. EDP. It would not it would not surprise me if he was actually a fan of R. Kelly. The reason why I bring that because there was countless videos at the time before he got caught. Um, that he was actually going against people who were criticizing R. Kelly, insulting him, uh, accusing him of these allegations, which obviously came to light, which was obviously true that it should have been known in, in the late nineties while he was doing it. And it would not surprise me if he was one of those early fans, the young fans that supported him. And then he got influenced, brainwashed into thinking with the same mentality and thinking that R. Kelly himself, because maybe EDP happens to be a fan of R. Kelly, he, he considers R. Kelly his role model. So he decided to idolize him to the point where he would try to make it seem like he would have some sort of power and that he can overwhelm his fans and overwhelm the people. And that he feels that he's in control by doing these heinous, disgusting acts and then, but when you get caught, nobody's gonna respect you. No one should be respecting you whatsoever. And that 
why why should somebody be forgiven especially you can tell by like i said people like this have no remorse for their actions they only care only when they get caught and the only time they feel justified say oh they're either lonely or they can't attract people their age then you might as well have to get it get an education improve yourself like as a person try to work on your personality try to work on how you speak with how you speak with people your age adapt with the real world and grow up you have to be mature for yourself be mature and not not only do this for yourself be respectful to the people around you and then you'll you'll get results but it clearly shows that whether this man was desperate or not i feel like all that fame has really gone to him and it's not me feeling sympathy for him but he thought maybe that if he could hide behind closed doors if he could do this underneath the shadows that people wouldn't be going heavy on him so but they clearly were because i guarantee you this has been people have been talking about r kelly's uh, behavior every single year let's be honest every single year it may not be every single day but it's been every single year because people want to give bring they want to bring awareness to this and which is 100 percent justified because we don't know when this man is going to act on his urges as you can tell uh, on the left look if you see on the left carefully when people have brought up the actions that he's done in the past or the things that people were accusing him of he's crying he knows what he's well aware of his disgusting behavior and he's trying to make it seem like these are just all rumors that people are making they're spreading rumors about him they're trying to put him in a bad light when he really put himself in a bad light he's just a man who doesn't feel like he should be held accountable and he should his his his, his worst excuse that like whether it's a worst excuse or not but he's trying to say that or oh, people know he has a big name and people will try to get at him to ruin his career and for all the people that i honestly suggest for the people who de who decide to listen to his music i was one the only i only listen to one song of his i don't remember any of his songs i believe when i was a kid though but i didn't even know at the time because you know, when you're a kid you're naive you don't know any better but the, for the people who still listen to his music i highly suggest you don't listen to his music at all one because you're helping this man make money you're helping people you don't want to influence children to look up to him also that is very important you should not be listening to this. there are people who brought that up and i highly 100 percent agree on their opinion because kids these days are very impressionable when they hear or see something they feel they want to imitate that person they want to respect that person they want to look up to them like they're somehow the that they have some type of authority considering that they're the adult and that that adult can actually when they when they have so much influence and where they have so much talent is that they can manipulate younger people into convincing them to be like their role models if you get if you get what i'm saying if you catch my drift so but um it's funny because people as soon as he he got 30 years i know for a fact a lot of people were excited they were celebrating they're even doing a meme of uh, R. Kelly singing along, saying that he, if he were to make a, a new, um, if he were to make a new song, and he were to, if, and he were to write the lyrics, it, 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 would ha it would include words like, I, b "I don't think I will survive. I will bleed when I go to prison. I think about every night and day that I might die someday." Like, I just made those lyrics up, but again, for those who support R. Kelly, you should definitely be checked for your moral, uh, you definitely need to be checked on your moral conscience, You need, and you need to suffer the consequences as well, and be sure that R. Kelly won't be out, and if he were to get out, even though it's not life, he won't be, he won't be able to live at the age of 80, who knows, because there's going to be countless torture and torment that he's going to go through, and you guys are going to have to face the facts. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check for more upcoming content in the future. Be sure to check your notifications. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.